Hey y'all, it's Melanin Nation, Melanin Gang, Melanin Poppin' Melanin taking over the world. Pew you guys. Alright, so I had did my facial and my scrub and stuff last night. And I forgot to record again for you guys, I think. But I think I pretty much showed everything and summed everything up. So we're just here today following up. We're going to do the Yanni scene today. I already took my shower and everything earlier. So, I want to make sure that you already, you know, let's take your shower and stuff. You're going to do this. I prepped some of my stuff last night. These are some of the herbs and stuff that come kind of super dried out. So, I like to make them soft so I can um, mash them up in my bowl. And I set them in the window to get moonlight or whatnot. And then I added the rest of that facial I had with the bentonite clay into here so what we have is some juniper berry and as you know berries are antioxidant so you know we want some of that And I get all of my products from markets and like local shops that sell organic stuff and things of that nature. Um, I'm gonna try to pronounce this, but I think it's called a Nietzsche or something like that. <laughs> That's pretty much a root. And we have some elderberries. And again, guys, I'm sorry if my lighting is not that wonderful, but I am recording all this bootleg. Um, and then the things that I had used in the facial was the castor oil, vitamin E, the tea tree facial oil, and some black seed oil. We had squoze the lemon in there, and then we did the bentonite clay and turmeric. Well, and when I soak this in to make everything, you know, at the state that I need it to be was the sesame oil. And the other herbs that I will be putting into the yoni steam is in the kitchen. Um, I would prefer to do this with um, purified water or whatnot, but I don't have that right now and I really don't feel like going to the store. So, what we're going to do is just use good old-fashioned water from the sink and let that boil up first and steam, you know, all the toxins and stuff out. Then, I'm going to um, add all of the other herbs in this mixture to that. So, you just, you know, make sure it sits overnight or however long you think it needs to sit. Because these berries, they do come super hot, the juniper berry. And I'm going to um, have everything down below so that way you guys can go do your own research for your own benefits because I do promote safety on my channel. And again, I am not a licensed doctor or anything. Everything I do, I practice on myself through spirit and self-educate myself. Hopefully you find some gems in my messages. I also still will be doing the story time or review, however you want to do it. Because I did that like two years ago before I even had an actual YouTube channel. But I was thinking about making one. 
on when I did the Yanni pearls and when I made my own pearls. Um, I still have footage and some photos of that as well. It's just what we edited. Of course. But I just see everything is starting to be consistent. Even those roots and stuff are starting to break too. So, like, I haven't been counting. Everybody is saying different days. And, you know, I mean, I work in the health field. So, my work is never done. I always have to go with my dad. I'm just going to put that. I'm going to take advantage of all this extra time. Like that. And pay for myself. And get some editing done, you know? Spring cleaning. And if you don't have one of these, you can just use um, some type of glass utensils and just use a wooden, um, something wooden to start it with because it does have the tonight cleaner, here so you don't use metal. And just put the glass in the, um, on the stove with some boiled water, that way it can heat up. And you can still do it that way as well before. And then to um, the actual mixture, if you don't have one of these. Or just do it in a glass bowl, regardless. And just still set it in the window or however. Just depends on how fast you're trying to do this. I didn't mind not doing it last night, so I just let mine set overnight. But if you're trying to do it quick, the heat it up method is good. But you don't want to use the microwave or anything because it's going to just destroy the property. So just keep that in mind. Oh, I think this is got a good consistency. I think all the berries are pretty much best open. I'm not used to filming here, I'll probably keep working in and up in my head. Also, so if you have anything like rose water or anything, I don't have that. But you can add this to your um, steam as well. Like, make it your own. This is just what I have on hand in my apothecary and everything. Some red clove, rosemary, some cloves, peppermint. Eucalyptus and raw sage. I dried this out myself. Or you can buy it, you know, fresh and still use it in that form as well. And I 
passing on the rest of this daily, but I'm not sure if I have one more second. For when you do the soak, and I pack to boil that comes with the lid. When you boil, you're gonna let it set for a good like 15 minutes to let some of the heat reduce and let everything set because you don't want to set it right and it's too too hot. Don't nobody want to burn booty, so also, we're gonna be adding that other half of lemon to this. So when you fill your pot up, you want to make sure it's filled like damn near all the way full. So I filled it up just like right where the handles start because some of it's going to, you know, spill out or whatnot. So you let that boil or start to boil for like a good 10 minutes or so. Um, if you do have bottle water or whatever, just go ahead and use the bottle water. Then after that, you'll add all of these herbs that I just showed you. Let that boil for about a good 10 minutes or so, and then you'll um, make sure that you let that with the oils and everything in there. You won't add your lemon until you take the pot and everything off of the stove and are about to sit under the pot. Also, you guys, if you have any type of healing properties, never mind my counter, there's water up here from doing stuff. But, um, just go ahead and pick out your stones and stuff that you want to use. And you're going to put these in there after you set. Make sure that they're all rinsed off and everything. I like, see. That's why it's water up here. Dry it up like that. And now my water is to a boil. And we're going to start adding the stuff in there. And just, like I said, make sure you got a top or a plate or something so you can um, settle everything in there. Top herbs. And then also, this is not going to get put in there until we put the lemon stuff in there once it's in this bowl. And I picked this bowl because the tabs fit right on the toilet and then the seat sits right on top and it doesn't move and slide around and splash on you or anything. So, yeah. This is how we rock, you guys. And what I like to do is I just listen to spirit and I pray over it for the things that I want and stuff for my health and everything like that. Like I said, because it's a spiritual, you know, even though you're doing self-care, it is some spiritual. So you just want to, you know, make sure you know the properties of everything and put what you want in there according to that or, you know, your budget and everything like so this has been boiling for about 10 minutes or so and as you see like I said I filled it up to about where the handles start I'm trying to hurry up and do this for bacon bag because he's trying to cook spaghetti here. You test me. It looked like I used a lot of that, but I didn't. This is some rosemary. And the way I've seen people do this, they boiled it and then they just put it 
straight into the pot like that and let it simmer over that way as well. This is my bay leaf. It's only one more. to know just detox everything get all of that stuff from having sex out from your periods not having periods yeast infections of any sort um soap you know things that they put in there if you're using soaps to stuff eyes and stuff in it ties eyes and it just bacteria that's on your body period that was lavender you guys i'm sorry um this is red clover you know, um, just all that type of stuff. It loosens up blockages and everything. Like I said, you do want to just already had to get a shower when you do this. Because you do this, you do want to lay down or chill. Um, I probably will do... A castor oil pack when I get done with this because that's normally how I do it. I'm gonna go ahead and just put this whole stem in there. And since I love sage and I haven't really been sage in the air because <laughs> this mess where I'm like a voodoo lady or whatever, I don't care. Call me whatever, call me. I haven't been like cleansing my hair like that, so I'm gonna put another stalk in there because sage is just antibacterial. Um, we have some peppermint. Put quite a bit of that in there. That helps open up the pores and stuff. I love to put cinnamon in my baths, you guys. I haven't done one with cinnamon in a while. a sea line or stay line cinnamon so that one has a lot of it. I have a properties and like I said you can add all of this type of stuff to your food teas however like um I might do a hibiscus tea because I love hibiscus flour like it tastes so so good I know at the grocery store, they used to sell this one tea that I used to buy. I'm sorry, yeah, my best friend told me. But it was hibiscus and honey. Oh my god, it was so good. I wish I would have did a review on it, but I wasn't doing it too at the time. So, yeah. Yeah. Bam, bam, bam. So, I'm just like this boil for a little while. And you want to stir with a wooden spoon when you do stir. And let me hold on one second. I think I have the hibiscus down here. So yeah, I found the stuff that I needed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a hibiscus tea. This hibiscus flour you can find this in bulk at supermarkets and stuff like that, or you can just buy a tea that's already prepared. And I think they also sell them in like tea box. Food. And I'm gonna add a little bit of hemp seeds to that. In my tea, and I'm also gonna add some lemon and garlic, and I'm gonna use the organic sugar that you see me use in my facial for my scrubs and stuff. Um, and lately, I have been drinking hemp oil, 
and I will probably either take a syringe of Lexi oil or um, put it in my tea. And I'm also going to pair that with um, the peach. That way it can be like a peach and hibiscus tea. A yogi detox tea. And I want to mind you guys, like, if you're going to be doing a castor oil pack, um, detox tea, or any type of Ayani steam, if you are pregnant, you um, should not be doing Ayani steam. And you should not be doing a castor oil pack. Um, the detox tea, I'm not really sure. I don't... I think you should consult with your doctor if you're going to do the tea, because I'm not sure if it says anything about that on here if you're pregnant or not. So, yeah. So, I just want to check with your doctor with that because, you know, you are detoxing a lot. And you can use black tea oil and stuff when you are pregnant, even though that's detox property, but I'm not sure about detox tea, so you might want to check with that. But I know for sure that y'all need to see you should not be doing and you should not be doing a castor oil pack because it's pulling and tugging and purging stuff from out of there. Me, on the other hand, I have not had my cycle since um, February 4th. It is, what, March 29th. So, I might get one next month. I might not because before February 4th, I have not had a cycle since October something. So, and I know if you're following my health vlog, you should be updated on all that stuff. And I probably do um, my Wednesday health vlog that's not up yet, probably today after I do my steam and stuff. Or I might do my health vlog while I'm doing my steam. So, <laughs> you see me sitting on my pot? Don't judge me, girl. Like... Everybody in the world is over here panicking. I mean, I'm kind of like, okay, I don't want to get the virus either, but I'm, I'm going to take this time to self-care. I took a week off of one of my jobs. I'm going to go back today because I'm like, I need my bread. Like, for real. I ain't about to play with y'all. I'm about to rack up all of that. I'm not about to wait on this government to give me no money. So, yeah. So, I'm going to set that to side to y'all so yeah, so lemon, garlic, hemp seed, black seed, hibiscus, yogi peach tea, and lemon if I didn't say that, and garlic. So <laughs> it's been a long day, y'all. I've been vlogging since yesterday. There's all this stuff going on. It's crazy. So I'm going to go ahead and get my wooden utensil. And go ahead and give this one good stir. And I'm just trying to make sure that that bay leaf is, you know, thoroughly, you know, good. And you can see that it's even starting to make like a ring on the pot. That means your herbs are, you know. Good and ready to go. So I'm going to cut this off. Alright. And you know what? I am going to You want a lid? You know, let all of that seep really, really good. Okay. Now I'm going to take another pot that way I can I'm just gonna go ahead and do this tea while I'm on this toilet or in my pot because it's gonna help internally and externally at the same time. So I'm just gonna wash out this other pot real quick and do a little bit more prep with these and then I'm gonna come back and do some stuff. 
Okay, y'all. So I got my water boiling for my tea. I got my 12 cup right here. I went ahead and put this back on simmer. Because you still got to let your um, tea stand for a little bit. And I don't want that to get too cold. And then you still don't want to have it, the tea too hot to where it burns the fuck out your mouth. So, I went ahead and opened up my tea bag. And I just unfolded one corner. And it gives you just enough space to slide a little something in there. Hibiscus tea does stain. So, again, if you're going to be working with this raw, make sure you wear something that you don't care about. And just be careful. I'm doing this in the kitchen or something. What I'm going to do is take a little pinch full and drop it down in the tea set. Take a little bit more. Stick it down in there. <gasps> but it almost fell out. It didn't fall out. <laughs> I think I'm going to put a little tad bit more. Because I do love hibiscus. It tastes so good, y'all. The only thing that I am missing that I would love to put in this tea is honey, but I don't have any honey. So if you have honey, go ahead and, you know, put that up to the side. I do have a little bit of molasses, but I don't know if I want to use that. And you want to use the um, pure whole molasses, and that's good for your PCOS cyst too. And just in general, or if you're um, insulin resistant, like diabetic or anything. Yeah, that's good for that as well. And all I'm doing is retying the bag back at the top. So that way now the herbs come out. And tea bag is good as new. And then I went ahead and took my lemon out of the refrigerator. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that in half again. And I probably just do me some lemon water and just set the lemon water to the side. And I also went ahead and chopped me up some garlic. I put one piece in the Yanni steam, and I got two pieces right here. So I'm going to go ahead and set that in the bowl with my lemon. I love to work with crystals, you guys, as you know. So I got my amethyst stone that I'm going to have just sitting in the bathroom with me for my energy. And I went ahead and set the gems in here in a circle form around the lemon. And the lemon is cut in half. And then, you know, I got my piece of garlic in. I use a lot of um, the clear stone gems, pastel looking gems because we are in spring. And amongst other things, I want transparency, transparency overall. And I've been doing a lot of transparency rituals. And it's so crazy because at this time, the world is going through this crisis. And I'm over here praying to the divine about transparency. So... As you see all that steam coming off, that's good old steam. You don't want to let a lot of that out, so I'm just going to give this one more stir. Set that back on top. Mm, smell like rosemary and lavender. I'm going to go ahead and toss this in the trash, put this back up. This is going to go in afterwards. And I really should have opened this up and put that in there as well. I wonder if I can just sweep under with this size. Yeah. I'm going to open this back up. And I'm going to put the hemp in there too. That way, I don't have to worry about if the seeds are going to dissolve or not. This is my first time doing the tea, like, this type of tea in this form. I've done many of my other teas, but like I said, every time I do something, I just do it off of the top of my head of what Spirit says. And since I have a channel, I come share it with you guys. That's always. So I'm going to go ahead 
and turn this water off because that shit's hot as hell for the tea. The Yanni steam is still on simmer. I think I done tired this shit so much that I can't even get over. I ain't that about a beaver. Aha. Let's see. Damn, honey. Come on, you act like you want to come over loose. Are you fucking for real? Well, I can't get it back to loose, but you can get yours back to loose. Let's go ahead and put the hemp in there, too. So I'm going to put this in there afterwards, after everything has set or whatever. If you don't have hemp seed, you can still use hemp oil if you do have hemp oil as well. So, you just take your boiled water. I'm gonna do this over the sink though, and just pour it directly over. Then you wanna get like a saucer or something to let that steep. I'm going to go ahead and cut up my lemon. I cut it into fours. And that should be at a good enough temperature to where I should be able to drink it in a little bit. Everything is settled at the bottom of this. Just keeping it warm enough to not get too cold because I do have my window open here. And I'm going to chill for a second. In the toilet, guys, and then I probably do my vlogs for Wednesday. How about that? Give y'all all the vlogs at one time. All right, chill. Okay, y'all. So I got everything prepped how I needed to get it prepped. I got my tea right here. Then I put the hemp tea, the lemon some um, sugar and stuff in there, organic sugar that is, and that was it for that, um, I went ahead and prepped my steam, so I have my steam in the toilet, um, in this toilet, I had to put it all the way down in there, my old toilet, it used to sit right on top real close, and I just put the top on top of there. Because I had to run back and forth for some more stuff to bring in the bathroom to lock all that steam in there. And also the toilet bowl is helping it kind of cool down so that I don't burn myself. I'm still going to test it a couple times before I just sit all the way down and get comfortable. The access that I have is right here. Normally when I do my steams, I would do a douche right after. But um, being that I didn't have the purified water, I was debating on if I wanted to do it or not. But I'm gonna talk about that in just a second. Um, along with these other two products right here to go along with that douche segment. Um, I have my healing stone, my amethyst, and I have me a plastic sport to scoop out our oil mixture to add to the steam. Along with that, you just want to make sure that you have some type of entertainment, some type of book, your phone, um, candles, ambiance, um, you know, something, however you want to relax and make this 
or have things around whatever your rituals for while you sit here you know manifesting and meditating i also have my robe you can also use a sheet or anything that you want to use i'm just gonna put this wrap this around my legs so that way all the steam is locked in and you just want to make sure that you have a dry towel as well because the steam is going to make you be a little wet I'm walking around a little wet every day so I'm going to go ahead and pop a squat and scoop out this stuff into there also make sure just to um, set this on top of a tissue or a towel or something because it does have that turmeric in there you don't want to stay anything I'm just going to take a piece of tissue and wipe it off as you see, super close. Okay, I'm going to just set this in the sink, but still leave it on top of the tissue. So I just put the bath in there. Super dirty. And I also need to stir my tea because that sugar in there is not stirred. And I don't want to go to drink it and it doesn't taste <laughs> Hot. I should be at a state where it's good enough for drinking. Took my top off. I'm going to just set this in the sink. All the water that's draining off. And Sitting with my butt mainly all the way back on the seat, that way I'm not burning my thighs. And I'm spreading my legs, that way my opening can actually open up. And then the natural air can, you know, keep the steam how it needs to keep, but it's still cool enough to where it's not burning me. I did have to sit here a little bit and teeter totter back and forth. But now the steam is at a good temperature where I can just sit comfortably. And then you're starting to feel sweat and stuff like that. I am drinking my tea. So that's good. And then the way the steam is coming up, it does have to pass my rear. So I'm still getting a little bit of breathing once back there because this is where it's tied at. So the steam is also, you know, steaming both parts at the same time. And you also want to remember if you have any type of like incurrent infections, whether it's sexually transmitted or just infection that your body is just prone to getting like these things, things of that nature. Do not do this because bacteria loves moist places. I let this sit overnight and then do it as well because I haven't done these things in a while. It's just part of 
the way I do my ritual. You don't have to set this in the middle of the night, but I believe in sun energy and moon energy. And when I normally when I do that, I will set it with a crystal as well. So you will just boil your herbs or whatnot. Like how I did for the steam. And then you would save some of the actual herbs in there. You would dump out the actual mixture that comes in the douche packet. The liquid that's in there. You would dump that out. Make sure it's rinsed out real good and thorough. You would take two parts this. Well, actually it's going to be three parts. You take one part of this mixture. You would take one part of this um, food grade hydrogen peroxide. And then you would have these soak for about two hours or not to where it gets the slimy consistency. This is the chia hemp and flax mixture. And um, one part of that slime. And it would make, you know, all three parts of the bottle is not that big. And you would just keep redoing that until all this is gone. And usually what I would do is I would do my steam. And then I would do a dish in a tub. Towel pat dry. While I'm reheating this water up on the stove and then steam again. That way, you know, everything is to its full capacity of cleanse. I do have douches out in the car. I'm debating if I want to go outside and go get it or not. I might. I'm not sure yet. So that's also an alternative to do a natural dish if you would like also once this water does you know kind of where you, you can seep down onto the seat and at this time your butt should be like super super slippery and your opening should still stay open because now you're sitting kind of next to it also if you have a foot still like this if you want to you can lift your legs up but i don't think i need to do all of that i don't let out a lot of the heat because it's too too hot but I feel it now. And I just see my stomach is wrapped up. Also, you can do your castor oil pack while you're sitting in the sweater too. You would just take a piece of muslin or some type of um, linen fabric and merge it, doze it into castor oil. And then you will rub actual castor oil or fancy oil into your stomach and on your back and things. Put the piece of fabric on there, wrap it somewhere around, wrap it about two, three times. And you can either use a heating pad or just the heat from this natural steam and wrap your stomach like that. That way you're doing everything at one time. As of right now, I can feel a little bit of bubbling, like everything is being pulled down. A steam like this should be done. I would say like twice a month, so you can do something like this like every two weeks. It just all depends, or once a month, it just all depends on what your other detox regimens and self-care regimens consist of because too much of anything is bad for you. So just always keep that in mind. So I'm going to go ahead and sit here for about a good 30, 30 minutes. Should be good. And the steam should be good and cooled down my vein. And then I'm gonna go ahead and chill out. Probably get some stuff edited for y'all and get this stuff posted. So hopefully you found some gems in here. If you do things like this at home, go ahead and drop a comment. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to your girl Nubian. So you already know it's knowing the nation, knowing the game, knowing the pop and knowing taking over the world. Period. Alright, guys. They say during this quarantine. If you have any family members that are affected by this, I'm so sorry. I'm sending out prayers to your family. So, you know, just be careful, be safe, be cautious. But a worried mind causes a worried body. So, you know, to stay positive, to keep a positive.
positive state of body, you know what I'm saying? So, alright, ciao, ciao.